Hello and welcome to Tector.com. In this lecture, we will understand mean value theorem. So, in calculus, mean value theorem means for a given arc, if it satisfies certain conditions, there will be at least one point in be between the two endpoints where the tangent is equal to the slope of tangent is equal to either zero or either some given value. So, basically, in mean value theorem we talk about uh, the slope of the tangent at a point in between the two given points and the conditions around this. So the first one which is uh, we have various mean value theorems so it's uh, Rawls, Ledger-Ranger and even Cauchy given one mean value theorem. So the first one will be to start with is Rawls mean Rawls theorem. Okay. Rawls theorem. So Rawls theorem says it has uh, the following conditions. So the first condition is fx is continuous within the interval that is closed interval a b. Okay, and f dash x ex exists for every point in open interval in uh, open interval a b. Okay, and f a is equal to f b. I'll come to the geometrical interpretation what I want to say here is let's uh, let's take a curve so for example if if this is the condition so let's say this is this is A and this is B okay so it is saying that F A is equal to F B that's correct then this curve fx this curve fx is continuous within this a and b okay and also differentiable between a and b right then if all these three conditions are satisfied then Rolle's theorem says that there will be at least one point in this interval there will be at least one point in this interval C where f of x is equal to f dash of x is equal to 0 means there will be at least one point where the slope of the tangent will be equal to 0 that is the tangent will be parallel to the this x axis ok so let's understand it geometry geometrically uh, so if it is satisfy all these three conditions are satisfied then then there will be at least one point C where F dash C will be equal to 0 fine so this is the Rolle's theorem wait wait I think this is wrong because let's take an example here I'm saying that well uh, this is A this is B okay these two points I have to have function equal here so let's draw a function something like this okay and now let's make it this this is also a function right and F A is equal to F B okay but there is no point here in this where the slope is F dash C is equal to C is equal to 0 because we don't have any point C here right so what about this Rolle's theorem is it wrong no because if you see this curve it is this curve is not satisfying the condition okay what we are doing is we have just made randomly a curve drawn a curve which is satisfying this condition okay that it is it is continuous yes first condition is satisfied again f a equal to f b this is satisfied but this is not satisfied in this case okay because if you see this curve has sudden change here okay has corner here so having corner in a curve means it is not differentiable at that point okay so here sudden change is the slope and it is not differentiable at this point so it is not satisfying the conditions of Rolle's theorem now let's understand the Rolle's theorem it is saying if there is a curve where f a equal to f b 
okay and the curve is continuous and differentiable then there will be at least one point where f dash x equal to zero so this is if you observe it it is quite obvious because for a curve if f a and f b is equal it means there are two condition the condition will be what let's say so this is a this is b okay so f a and f b is equal now there will be two condition one from a to b it is going straight parallelly with slope zero right so again here from here to here slope is zero so condition is satisfied so what it is saying is slope is f dash is equal to zero okay now one condition another condition will be curve will move randomly something like this anything like this okay but somehow it has to change its slope okay and has to come back to here because it has to be equal to f a at this point b okay the value has to be equal to somehow it has to change and if it is changing it means there will be at one point where the slope will come out to be zero right so this is quite obvious to understand fine so i hope this is clear uh, if you have any doubt please go to the doubt section and ask your doubt we will always be happy to answer your doubt so thanks for watching